White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre dismissed a recent video where Joe Biden appeared confused or lost, labeling it as cheap fakes. This sparked a backlash from Republicans. Ironically, several, several recent cheap fakes actually attacked the president for thanking troops, for thanking troops. That is what they're attacking the president for. Both in Normandy, this happened, and again in Italy. And uh, I think that it tells you everything that we need to know about how, um, how desperate how desperate Republicans are here. Uh, and uh, instead of talking about the president's performance in office, and what I mean by that is his legislative wins, what he's been able to do for the American people across the country, we're seeing these deep fakes, uh, these manipulated videos. Uh, and it is, again, done in bad faith. The need for transparency and authenticity in our leaders is paramount. And skepticism towards media narratives is essential. The accusation that Joe Biden's video was manipulated, dismissed as cheap fakes, feels like an attempt to control the narrative, sidestepping genuine concerns about his ability to lead. We crave accurate, unfiltered information amidst fears of misinformation and manipulation. The criticisms of Biden's moments of confusion or disorientation tap into deep-seated worries about leadership and competence. The public yearns for strong, decisive leadership, and any sign of a president's frailty or incapacity raises significant alarm. Biden's assertions about his performance and health reflect a profound responsibility to assure the nation that he can fulfill his presidential duties with confidence and vigor.